Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to Torrent Talk. Get out of the frame, Torrent. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm. So that should say, uh, upcoming this February. We're in February, but you know, hey, huh? Any hoodles? Hi. So upcoming this February, we're doing major hair. Uh, as in, we are doing Queen Joan from Nightfall. I thought about doing Princess Isabella, but I couldn't really find many good pictures. Uh, my caveat is that I didn't actually watch Nightfall, but I did extensively Google search pictures and video clips from Nightfall <laughs> because the hair is amazing. So um, we are actually going to do three Queen Joan hairstyles. Um, I was debating whether to give you a preview of what we were going to not going to do or to, you know, make it be a surprise, but I thought, let's get you excited, right? So uh, we're going to be doing, uh, I'm just going to go by colors because I have no idea what actual episodes and things are. So uh, we're going to be doing the green look. <gasps> we're going to be doing the red look. And I'm hoping I can get it because I haven't practiced it yet. Uh, we're going to be doing, hopefully, the purple look. Oh, I really like this purple look because it halves her hair. Um, halves. It halves her hair. Um, and this one actually looks like we might be able to make this look exactly the same. As close as possible. The other two are clearly ginormous hair pieces. So uh, ours will be the puny versions of said uh, hairstyles because we will be working with the hair on my head. Um, I did not buy, I, I debated buying additional hair pieces, but they're very expensive <laughs> for the length that I would need. So um, yeah, I didn't. So this will just be with the hair on my head. So any hoodles. Uh, we also are going to have to make some of those decorations because we're, we're just going to have to. Um, so we're going to have crafting videos on how to recreate. Think of this as um, I'm sort of cosplaying or, or most cosplayers make all of their stuff, their outfits. They make their own armor. They, they do the whole thing. Um, so Kind of like that, only the deep discount version because I'm not I'm not putting out a ton of money for something that I will never wear again. Uh, I don't cosplay, um, and uh, there are no. Well, actually, I do believe we might have a run fair fairly close, but I've never been. So, uh, and I wouldn't dress as a queen if I went because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Like they have a queen there, so you don't also come as a queen, kind of thing. So, um, like I'm, so I'm never gonna wear these pieces again, um, except unless I do like Halloween or or some such. So uh, I don't want to put out like the major money for like Weebla or any of that stuff. Uh, it'll be the deep discount version, good enough for pictures. Won't stand up to like high scrutiny. <laughs> And uh, kind of like my uh, my Wonder Woman. Um, do you guys remember when we did Wonder Woman? Any, uh, I still have my crown out. Hold on. Like this. Like my Wonder Woman crown. Like that. Looks pretty good. It's good enough for photos or if you would like to play with your daughter or son if he wants to be Wonder Woman, which if he does, awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's that's fairly decent. And this is made out of cardboard, PBR cardboard to be exact, uh, which delights Susan. Um, it's the cardboard from uh, a 12 pack of beer. Uh, headband, as you can see, this is just like a regular headband and uh, felt spray paint. Uh, but the cardboard looks fairly metallic with the right spray paint, so I'm probably going to make things out of cardboard again. Um, I don't know. It looks like metal. Good enough. Um, any hoodles? Yeah, so deep discounted version of cosplay. But, you know, that's what I am. I am super inexpensive and cheap. 
you guys. Um, I don't like to say I'm cheap because I have extremely expensive tastes. I just don't have the willingness to put out the money for very expensive things. Uh, I grew up on a farm. We didn't have a lot of money. I'm used to not having a lot of money. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like the discount version. I mean, I am now at a point in my life where I can afford some more high-end things and occasionally I splurge, but mostly not so much. Uh, it keeps my marriage happy because we do not live above our means at all. <laughs> so we don't have to fight about money. All right. So that's like our big thing this month. That is what we're going to be doing. Um, almost all of my energy is going to be going into the crafting these hairstyles and crafting these pieces to make these hairstyles look as amazing as those pictures. The discount version of as amazing as those pictures anyway. Um, Hey, you know, we do what we can. <laughs> All right. Uh, the other things this month, uh, um, I am going to talk about podcasts next week. Um, it was going to be last week's third video, but I realized that most of the podcasts I listen to, by and large, are about true crime. And not all of y'all are in true crime. So I am spending, um, I spent the weekend uh, kind of checking out uh podcasts that weren't true crime <laughs> to try and find some that I really liked. Mm, some I have found two that I love. Um, and I, of course I do have a couple um, that I do listen to that are not true crime, believe it or not. But uh, I want to try and sort of find some other things that, that I think y'all might be interested in. We'll see. Um, so that will be uh, next, next week's torn talk will be about podcasts, so you'll know, um, which will be cool. Um, and finally, oh, I told you guys I would let you know about the gel nails. So as you see, I have changed color. I do have pictures. Um, I think I had like day two, day six or seven or whatever. As you can see, they didn't change. So after eight days, uh, my nails looked exactly the same as when I did them the first day. They didn't wear at all. Um, there was no chipping on the tips. There was no peeling. They did not peel off. Nothing. It was amazing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm froggy. Um, I'm a convert for sure. So that, that first Manny was the sensation nail. Um, which I got so I could try it out because it was all pretty much like sample sizes, but it came with a light um, and it was like $19.99. So, of course, the light is great because it's a UV slash LED. It's the LED version, um, which is nice because that actually means less curing times uh, for a myriad of gel polishes. And uh, I researched a lot and listened to you guys. Um, so I decided I wanted to do a no white top no white mm -hmm. a no wipe top coat um so in doing that and listening to you guys and and your recommendations i ended up going with uh i'm not sure how to pronounce pronounce it but i'm gonna go amelie all my lie uh there you see this that's the base coat uh they come in the pink bottles so i got a uh, separate base and top coat uh my original was two in one. I'm never real big on any two in one, like base and top coat, because I think they're very different things. So you kind of want them to be different things. So um, I know I wanted to do that. And I decided to try one of their polishes um, to see if I liked it better. I love this polish. So I ended up getting, it doesn't even have a name, but um, it's TC06. And I'm holding it back here so you can see it, but it's like blue and purple because this is color change polish as in like I'm warm right now. So they're blue. When I get cold, they turn purple. I don't even have, I should have brought some cold water to show you guys. Uh, although if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see, I showed you it's magical. polish. <laughs> yeah. It changes according to uh, how your body temperature so, uh, or like if I go outside and it's cold outside, everything goes purple. So, um, 
usually during the day, uh, the tips are purple and the bases are blue. So you get this really cool kind of French fade, like a French Manny sort of ombre fade thing. Um, yeah, I'm really digging the color change polish and I am really, really digging this gel polish. It is the only polish I have ever tried that actually stays on my nails. It does not peel off in full sheets like all my other polish does. So I'm very excited about that. Like, so excited. Joe is less excited, however, because this means that I now need to invest in gel polish. Now, I have not yet experimented with using the gel base coat and gel top coat and just regular old nail polish in between. I haven't tried that yet. I will, and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, for anybody wondering, because I was wondering, uh, how exactly the gel differs from regular polish, um, it's, it's all in the chemicals. It's science. Uh, the bottles, um, like you're looking at them going, well, they're all pink. Uh, they're opaque so that uh, sunlight doesn't hit them. Um, you use the UV lamp and it causes an actual chemical reaction. So it takes the liquid polish and turns it into basically amber, you know, amber that you guys, I'm sure you've seen amber before that has like bees in it or fossils or insects or whatever. Um, it's kind of a resin. So it's an actual chemical change and it turns it into like amber or resin on your nails. So that's why it wears so well. Like you don't have to keep adding top coat to try and make your manicure last longer. It just does. So I am leaving these alone until I actually get a chip because I want to see how long they will wear. Um, also blue is more my color. You guys know I like more colors. Any hoodles. Um, yes, I'm curious to see how long they will wear, but, uh, yeah, I haven't tried just regular polish in between because you guys know I have a lot of different polishes. So I'm going to try. Uh, but I do know that when I do that, I have to wait a long time for that layer to dry because it doesn't set like gel polish does. It doesn't have the chemical reaction kind of thing. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm hopeful. It would be great if that works because um, the thus far you can't really do nail art with gel polish. You guys know I like to do all that fun, funky stuff because the polish is very, very thin. Um, yeah. So any hoodles, uh, gel polish, two thumbs up from me. I highly recommend if you have a problem like I do with polish sticking to your nails. And this, this is the big thing. If you have wussy nails like I have, like I told you guys, like mine, I've showed you, they bend. This stuff is rock hard. Like my nails aren't going to bend. You don't have to worry about like ripping or tearing, which is, which is nice. <laughs> and my nails look nice. Um, yeah, I highly recommend. Although I will also recommend if you do them to use, I use just Vaseline petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly. It's not even name brand Vaseline. Um, I used a brush and put it on my skin, like all the way around and down and up when I did them, because you don't, it makes it really easy to wipe off if you mess up and touch your skin with the polish. So, uh, and an, a layer of protection under the UV light. Cause I don't want age spots on my fingers. You guys. So, um, yeah, highly recommend, highly recommend just putting some Vaseline on there. Um, makes cleanup really easy and it'll make your cuticles softer, which is a huge problem for me because all these years I always use straight acetone, etc., to try and keep my nail beds as dry as possible. So the polish would stick. Thus, my cuticles are in wretched shape. They are super dry. Um, you do have to use acetone to take these off, but like a lot of people go on and on about, oh, it's so difficult to get gel polish off. I taught you guys years ago, if you wear dark polish or glitter polish, it's sometimes very, very difficult to get off your nails, uh, to robo them, which is, you know, cotton ball, aluminum foil, let it sit for five or 10 minutes and then just pinch and pull it off and it slides right off. 
same thing, just slid right off. So that wasn't a big deal for me. Um, slid right off. It had no problem getting the polish off my nails. And to anybody who says, you know, be careful of gel polish because it does terrible things to your nails. You guys, I've been using acetone on my nails for years and I peeled my polish off all the time and never really. So if they're damaged, they're already damaged. Um, this will be much better because I'm not changing up my polish nearly as much. So it, it's, it's all your experience, I'm sure. Any hoodles, that's uh, over 15 minutes. So um, yeah, shorter one today because some of these might be a little long uh, this month. Uh, so, you know, give you a heads up. But, uh, you know, our hair has been and we are going whole hog for the month of February because this is really going to keep my mind off my usual depression. February is my worst month of the year. It's usually when I'm really sad and I just struggle during the month of February. So this, uh, for you, you get hair. And for me, I have something to occupy my mind and keep it off sad thoughts. So bonus, it's a win-win for everybody. Alrighty, uh, that's it for me today. I will see you probably not tomorrow. You get two more videos this, this week. I'm not sure exactly what days. It depends on how my crafting goes, quite frankly. Um, hairstyle will not be that nearly as bad as the crafting portion. <laughs> I may have to try a few things uh, till I get one that works. Um, and then, of course, all the editing and stuff. So, I mean, you may luck out and it'll be like Wednesday, Thursday videos. Or maybe it'll be Thursday, Friday videos. I don't know yet. <laughs> but you will get two videos this week. One, Torn Tries Crafting. <laughs> Discount Cosplay. And uh, a hair bid. Which one are we doing first? I don't know. It depends on how the crafting goes, quite frankly. Ah, but it's still exciting. Yay, Queen Joan. Um, thank you for having awesome hair for us to try for this month. All right, I'm really going to shut up now, I promise. Okay, I love you guys. Have a great day. See you later this week. Hair, epic hair. That was terrible. This is why I don't sing. Okay, love you, bye.